Selling this one-day option contract earned me this $300 premium payment. Find out which stock I used and how you could do this for yourself by watching this whole video. I featured this option trade in my live trading session from earlier this morning, which you can access by joining my Discord community. Before I share with you the stock that I used, let me briefly describe the option trading strategy I have in mind. My plan is to use a rapid cover call technique. Some people often refer to this as a buy right covered call. And so here's how it works. So for step number one, my goal is to identify an undervalued stock. So this is a stock that is in an oversold condition and has some growth and upward potential. So it could be a stock that's recently gapped down or it's been trading under its moving average and there isn't a strong or compelling reason for it to be doing so. Next, after I've identified the stock, I'm going to move on to step number two, and that is I'm going to acquire 100 shares of the stock. And the reason I purchase 100 shares, that's the quantity I need in order to fulfill the collateral requirements for selling a covered call. Now, because I'm actually buying these shares, I need to be sure that I like the company and I wouldn't mind owning the 100 shares. And for purchasing the shares, I can place a market order, but my preference is to place a limit order so that I can actually control my cost basis. And so after purchasing the shares, I move on to step number three, which is to immediately sell an at the money or near the money covered call option using those shares. And the fact that I buy the shares and then immediately turn around and sell a covered call or write a covered call is why this technique is called a rapid covered call or a buy right. So then after my option contract gets filled, I'll collect the premium payment. And the special configuration that I set up for this rapid covered call is that I've specified a one day expiration. I normally do covered call options that have one week, two week, or one month expirations. So for me to do this one day expiration, it needs to be a very unique and special situation. So now that you know my rapid covered call strategy, let me share with you the stock and the actual execution where I received $300 in premium payment. Step number one of my strategy, I identified a firm holdings incorporated stock symbol AFRM as a stock to use for my rapid covered call. This company operates a platform for digital and mobile first e-commerce in the United States and Canada. Now the company's platform includes point of sale payment solutions for consumers, merchant commerce solutions, and a consumer focused app. What's unique and special about this company is that with its payment network, it enables consumers to pay for a purchase over time with terms ranging from one to 48 months. Very similar to how a traditional credit card company works, but there's some slight nuances. With this step completed, it's now time to move on to the next step. It's a transaction record from my account history where you can see I placed a limit order to purchase 100 shares of a firm. So I submitted this order on December 16th for 100 shares and it was filled later that morning at 10.53 a.m. Pacific time. And for these shares, I paid $98 per share. So my total cost was $9,800. Well, as luck would have it, the price dipped even further. So I acquired another 100 shares. So here's my second limit order. Again, I purchased 100 shares, but this time I paid $95.65 per share. And so my total cost for these 100 shares was $9,565. So now at the completion of step number two, I actually have 100 shares that I purchased at $98 per share, an additional 100 shares that I purchased at $95.65 per share. So in total, I now own 200 shares of a firm holdings incorporated symbol AFRM and my cost basis is $96.83 per share. Well, now that I have these shares, I need to immediately turn around and use them to sell a covered call. Here's the numbers for my analysis that convinced me to sell the covered call. So this is for stock symbol AFRM and I was looking at the expiration date of December 17th of 2021 and a strike price of $99 which at the time was paying $3 per share in premium. And my cost basis was $96.83. So at the time I was performing this analysis, the current market price for a firm was $97.07 per share, which would make the value of 100 shares $9,707. Now, because I had picked the December 17th, 2021 expiration date, that would make the length of this covered call option contract only one day. Now with the $99 strike price, it was currently paying $3 per share in premium and my cost basis was $96.83 per share. So my total cost basis for the 100 shares was $9,683. So if this covered call option gets exercised, 
I'll realize a price appreciation of $217, which is a profit of 2.24%. Now for selling this covered call option contract, I'll receive $300 in premium, which is a profit of 3.1% based off of my cost basis for these shares. Now on the expiration date, if my option contract does get exercised and my shares do get sold and assigned to the buyer, I'll receive a total maximum profit of $517, and that's a profit of 5.34% for this one-day rapid covered call option trade. I still have one more test in order to complete step number three, and that's actually to get the covered call option contract that I'm selling. It actually needs to be filled by a buyer that purchases the option contract. Well, after submitting my sell order, it actually got filled. Here's the actual transaction record for my account history. So you can see I'm selling a covered call for stock symbol AFRM with a $99 strike price and an expiration date of December 17th of 2021. And I submitted this order on December 16th, 2021. And it was filled later that morning at 11.01 a.m. Pacific time. Now at the time I sold this option contract, it was paying $3 per share in premium. So when this option contract got filled, I received the $300 premium payment which showed up as a credit deposited immediately into my trading account. I plan to let this option contract run to expiration, and so I'll just have to wait and find out what happens at the end of the market closing day on December 17th, at which point there's two possible outcomes. So for result number one, it's when the market price finishes above my strike price, and in that case, the option contract will get exercised, and my shares, they'll actually get assigned to the buyer, and I'm okay with that. Now the profit I'll get is from the price appreciation, the price I'm paid from the buyer for my shares, plus the premium I collected. Now the second result is when the market price finishes below the strike price. And in this case, the option contract is going to expire worthless. And so as a result, I'll end up keeping my 100 shares, which I can use again to write another covered call. Plus I'll have an immediate profit from the premium payment that I collected. So for me, I'd be happy with either outcome. You can get direct access to my trades, plus notified of my option trading alerts and signals, and also get online Q&A access to me by joining my Discord community at a special introductory price of only $1 for the first month. Just visit my website at discord.simpleoptiontrading.com. There's one last thing before I end this video. Now, making profits and generating an income from option trading is a great thing. But keep in mind that all gains made from trading are considered income and are subject to applicable tax considerations. So every month I save a portion of the profits that I earned in order to pay for my federal and state taxes. So please consult with your CPA, licensed financial advisor, and or tax preparer regarding the tax liabilities for your unique situation. If you're still watching this video, I just want to say thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And I also want to wish you good luck and lots of success with all of your trades.